What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 1 of my Killer to Skiller series where we are playing a brand new account on RuneScape and building my very first pure Skiller. I recently maxed Chef so I thought why not try a pure? As you can see I'm sat in a brand new account with literally no stats whatsoever and it's called Little Chef because well it's my ult. Um, I've already gone through and changed all of my game settings and my layout which you know I might tweak as I play through. Um, and I've also joined my clan uh, Consentus, which is a large skilling clan. I'm gonna—I'm not entirely sure what steps to take as a skiller. I've never played one before, so this is going to be a learning curve for me. It's going to be a learning curve for maybe some of you guys who aren't skillers. But hopefully, we can learn some things and we can share our experiences together. What I've decided to do first though is I'm probably going to unlock my lodestone network or at least the most important ones um, just so we can get around a lot easier and let's actually deal with these three uh, keys that we've got now we we don't need to be shown around so let's see if we can get anything interesting so we've got some logs and we've got a star and we've got some planks so I was hoping I'd get some protein items to be honest, but we didn't. So, we will add the bonus experience on Slayer since that's definitely going to be the hardest one to level. And we will activate this lodestone. So, I'm going to speed up this video just as I run around and get my, um, you know, lodestone network sorted. And I will get back to you when I'm done. And we're back, guys. And so, you might have, um, you notice I'm in you know I was at a play around portal and I thought maybe I could find someone who has a cannabis portal in their house and I could sneakily go over and take the lodestone over there but actually I just discovered that um, you need to do the priest in peril quest in order to defeat the or defeat the ghoul in the underground temple to do it first so at some point I'll use recoils and ceridomin brews uh, to defeat the ghoul uh, but I thought I'd try it anyway so as you can see from my network I've unlocked everything that I think is really important right now I'll unlock Karamja but I literally have no goal to make, make the voyage right now but I will get Karamja and other than Canifis when I can get over there other and maybe Relica but I'm not sure if there's anything up there in Relica that we actually need uh, so for the most part I've unlocked everything that's needed uh, maybe the Oogalog depending uh, I'm not sure on if that has a requirement either, but I thought since I'm over here in Yanil already, I'm going to build the scaffold and I'm actually going to go around uh, and do all of these uh, scaffolds. So there's one in Lumbridge, this one, and the one in Tavoli, and then I'll get back to you. So guys, we're here finishing our final statue, and th we've gained a couple of construction levels. We've done the Tavoli one, and we've done the uh, this is the Lumbridge one and we've also done the Yanil one. Uh, so we gained nine, level 9 construction and not too bad. Um, we'll be, we'll do the Canifis one whenever we finally unlock Canifis. Um, obviously make sure not to actually pray at the statues because you'll gain uh, prayer experience. Um, later on in the future months we'll probably do the Slayer ones and kind of recoil the bosses uh, that you do there. Uh, just so we can get some Slayer experience up. Now on the topic of Slayer, I was given some advice to start the training by this Lady Death now, and this teaches you the evolution of combat, however it doesn't gain you any combat experience, but it will give you books for completing them on Legendary, and all of those books are going to go straight into uh, Slayer, so let's get to it. And we're back guys, I've just finished the Combat Academy. As you can see, I've gained no combat experience in any of my skills. So, definitely safe doing. So now we should be able to get the rewards. Now look at all these books, oh my god. So, we're going to put them all onto Slayer. Oh no, we're not going to get it. Okay, we got level 19 Slayer. That's pretty awesome. Um, that's a huge leap up. We've unlocked a bunch of shit we're never going to use. And uh, we've just hit our level 50 milestone, which is awesome. And so what we're going to go off and do now is we've done our statues. We're actually just going to go off and fish. And the fishing spot that I'm going to do is down here. 
um, the one near uh, Al Karid uh, Bank. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave you now, guys. What I'm probably going to do is uh, aim for like level 20 maybe in every skill and uh, we'll kind of go from there. I think that's probably the best bet is just to do a little bit of everything, kind of get to grasp with the different aspects of the game again and uh, I'll see you again whenever, when I move to the next skill. And we're about to get level 20 guys, let's see if we get it, because we've now, once I think it was level 16, we unlocked anchovies. So we're just 40 experience away, and there we go guys, 20 fishing, so that's our first level 20 skill done. And I think for the next skill, uh, we might as well just go and uh, cook the fish that we have and see what level it gets to me. So I'm going to just, probably just burn a log outside here. And we're back guys, and this time I actually moved to Kappa B to ensure I uh, burnt a little bit less on the on the range. And this is the last anchovy, and we got level 24 out of all that fish, which is pretty good. Uh, we burnt over 100 fish though, I believe. Uh, ni uh, 98, so that's okay, we're just going to drop this. Um, but there we go, we got some cooked fish. And so the skill I'm next going to move on to is going to be woodcutting to 20. And I'm going to use the logs on uh, fire making. And then I'm probably going to work on some fletching as well. So I'll see you back there. And we are almost level 20 fire making. One more log. And come on, you can do it dude. There we go. So we've got level 20 fire making. We're going to stop that right now. Uh, we only got to level 15 woodcutting so far, so we're going to turn the rest of these into uh, short bows, and we're going to, I'm going to see what level oak short bows, or oak bows, or whatever, are at, because I'll move to oak trees as soon as I get to that in fletching, um, but there we go, so far, level 15, level 25 making, and now we're going to work on fletching. So I will catch up with you guys when I've made progress. So guys, I just hit 20 woodcutting. Um, I'm nowhere near 20 fletching, but I'm just going to carry on woodcutting until I get it. Uh, it oak, like bows and whatever, on until level 20... Uh, yeah, level 20 fletching. So I can't do them until there anyway. So I'm just going to kind of uh, just carry on doing this, grinding it out, and see where I go. I might actually start making arrow shafts and over oh no wait I don't have any money to buy any feathers uh, <laughs> uh, I, I was just about I was just thinking oh, I can kill some chickens now I can't um, so I will maybe pause on fletching and I may craft uh, sorry may mine some bronze and maybe use those bronze bars to make arrowheads not sure yet um, I'll have a look and uh, I'll get back to you but for now, I think I'm just going to pop over to mining. Might as well get that to 20 and get smithing to 20 as well. Um, and then we'll see for fletching after that. So guys, I have been mining and smithing and I've gained level 17 mining and 12 smithing. But honestly, it is so slow and boring. And then I just suddenly realized something. Um, and actually someone in the clan recommended this earlier and I didn't actually think about how this could, you know, impact on my game but if I do the play, um, the stronghold of player security and the stronghold of play, uh, what is it, player safety I think between the two of them you get like 20k uh, coin and you know what I could do with that is I could then buy 1k bow, uh, 1k flax which is only 12k, yeah 12k that is absolutely ridiculous um, once I've got the level, uh, the 12k, I can then spin them, get some crafting experience, and turn that into like 300k. That is ridiculous. So guys, that's what I'm going to go and do. I think this is like the entrance. Yep. So I don't think things are aggressive in here. Auto retaliates off. I'm going to go through and find the chest, and I'll report back when I've completed it. And we've made it to the end of the. Uh, Stronghold of player security it literally takes 30 seconds. Like once you know, once you remember to actually open the lever, to push the lever rather. So we gained, um, like I think we gained an emote and we gained the safety gloves, and we also got two antique lamps which are going straight onto Slayer, and uh, yep, Slayer, and we gained 10k coins which is great. Oh, we got our 21 Slayer. That's awesome. So that's we're keeping that up with the other skills at least. 
So now we're going to go back out. So we're in the final room. Let's loot the, what is it, Cradle of Life. And we have a choice between two pair of boots, of course. We are going to choose the colourful one. Uh, because we're not doing combat. And now we're up to 20k coins, which is awesome. So let's climb. Uh, does this take us all the way out, this thing here? I think so. Come on, click it, Jesus. Uh, yeah, takes us all the way out. Okay, so now since we're really, really close, let's just run over to uh, the GE. I've got a few things to sell. Like I could have just sold them to a store, but I price checked like the bronze helmets I were making, and they seem to be doing. Uh, they seem to be worth a lot more just to sell them to the GE. It's not much. Like it's literally, like, I mean, it's 80 GP we're talking about. It's not much at all. But any helps, and I'm gonna go and. Um, complete those and I'm gonna buy the 1k flax and uh, I don't have to do a tutorial with this guy do I can I just like bank and take my stuff out so I'm actually gonna sell the arrowheads because since I'm gonna get a decent amount of money I'm probably just gonna buy like the supplies I need um, and like just do better oh you god you gotta do this fucking tutorial so we will sell our goods. Let's see what we can get from these. Uh, not much, I imagine, but oh, maybe like 5k from there. Nope, no, they don't sell. 2k if they sell, they sold. Another 1k, and oh god, not much. This is embarrassing. Uh, so we'll just run these down. But what we're here to actually buy is flax. And I've decided I'm probably going to spin it in Lumbridge. It seems to be the closest to a bank that I can get to. Uh, so get that to the inventory. So that's another 4k. That's okay. So let's buy 1k. For, oh, should we do 2k? Am I getting bold? Is 2k too much? No, I'll do 1k. I'm, I don't know how much this is actually going to, you know, take. Oh, God. Of course it's on buy. I'm, I'm, I'm on limited funds, guys. So they'll buy for around that, surely. I wonder if they're so down because of all the, you know, the botting. Right, I'm willing to go to 20k. Yeah. So we got them for 19k. That's excellent. Now we're going to go off to Lumbridge and we're going to start spinning this. And once I've done the full 1k, I'll come back to you guys and show you how much crafting experience I gained and also my profit. Okay, guys. So 1k bowstrings have finally been done. And we've got 31 crafting out of it. I lost two due to strange rocks, but um, that's fine. So let's sell these and make a big profit. So we've made 292k. So we've made 280k profit. Can't argue with that. Now, since fletching was going so slowly, we are going to buy 800 logs, and we're going to craft those into arrow shafts. Um, and I might make them into headless arrows to make a bit more profit. Um, but I'm going to get ahead with these, and I'll report back when I'm done. And we're here adding the final feathers to the arrow chefs. I actually decided not to cut the arrow chefs. Um, I realized that it was much quicker just to buy them. So I've made over 3,000 headless arrows. I should have made a profit on those though. Let's see. Uh, was that just under 300k? Okay, a very tiny profit. Maybe about 50k. Um, I did buy uh, these 59 oak planks, and that's going to be for construction, which I'm going to be doing shortly. Um, I'm going to go away and do 20 construction. And I'm probably going to do the Druidic Ritual quest to get um, the Herb Law supplies, and I'll probably get that to 20 as well. So, again, off I go. Alright guys, I'm back, and I've just got a couple of things to sell, but I got level 20 Herb Law uh, after doing the Druidic Ritual, and I also got my 20 Construction, which was absolutely frustrating, because I kept bending nails. Um, but, I've got... So that's brought me back to 314k, so through her blowing construction I didn't lose any money, which is great. Uh, throughout the day I've gained my 50 Triskelion uh, pieces, so I'm going to hand those in now and get a lamp, which of course is going straight onto Slayer. Will it get us a level? Yep, it actually got us two levels. So the final thing I want to do today is I just want to take a quick run over to the Virat Museum, and I'll get back to you when I'm there. So we're at the statue, we've got a couple of these pieces and I'm going to just use them on there or do I have to talk to this guy first? I'm going to have to talk to this guy and we've just got 460 fish in and we've got 9,999 9, rather crafting 
some construction and finally some herblow. So that's got us a couple of levels as well and uh, I'm going to get a bag off this guy, it's a click rope bag and yes, god there's too much text here and can we actually do all of these? So we can do all of those yeah so actually this is something that we can collect for all skills and reset it every single week uh, you know there's no combat skills or anything involved so we'll definitely be doing that alright guys anyway this video I'm not sure how long it's going to be uh, we'll have to see uh, but I have gained 20 in near enough all of the skills that I can there's a few left like hunter which I'm dreading um, agility um, and I'll get on those tomorrow and then we'll kind of set more of a longer term goal on one particular skill maybe get it to 50 or something like that um, so if you like the video guys please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you next time